everyone. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> it's been a while since I picked, up the cam picked the camera up. Where am I? I'm um, near Hereford. Uh, I'm actually in Tewkesbury right now. Uh, yeah, I'm up here for three days of work. Uh, one Today was the first day. Got two more days up here. I'm working on a very lovely woman's motorhome. She's got a very cool motorhome. Uh, and she wants it to be better. She wants it to work better. She wants to have worry-free, fully off-grid electrics. Which is what we have provided for her. We have su supplied and we are fitting a full Victron setup. Two massive solar panels. Uh, a diesel heater, which I fitted today actually. I started on the diesel heater. Got two days to do so much. We've got a big Multi Plus, MPPT, Vic, uh, Orion, Mark Shunt, Fast Bars, you know. Yeah. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing at the minute. In the morning, I'll show you what I got up to today. But yeah, I had to kind of incorporate all the ducting from the previous heater, which you know, you know motorhomes, the ducting goes here, there and everywhere. So I had to incorporate the Chinese diesel heater into all the uh, existing ducting, which I've managed. And tested it out right before I left. And it's all working, so... But... Tomorrow, I've got to, I've, oh yeah, two Victron lithium batteries as well to go in. Anyway, I'm parked up, I found a nice little, actually it was a customer's recommendation, by a river in Tewkesbury. Um, yeah, nice little spot. But yeah, in the morning, in the morning I'll show you what I got to today, show you the motorhome. And tomorrow, yeah, I'm going to start on the electrics. Got to get the two new batteries in there. Try and squeeze so much stuff into a, a small area. Yeesh. We shall see. So. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, hello, good morning. Okay, I'm staring at a whole load of blue here, which I, I'm staring at a whole load of blue here, which is making me excited. Uh, this is the customer's motorhome. I have made it a mess, but it is beautiful. It's got a big double bed above the cab here. Uh, the cab is obviously below here. We've got a big seating area here, which I'll show you in a second. Kitchen, and a big double bed there, and a massive shower bathroom here. It's, uh, it's messy, because I've filled it all up with Victron stuff. Let me spin you around to show you this. This is where the electrics are going in here, but this is a double seating area with a table here. And this is a load of Victron. This is the mega 3000 watt multi plus. Uh, inverter, mains charger. It's all in one. It's, uh, it's an awesome bit of kit. Two Victron lithium 200 amp hour batteries. I have one of these in my van. That's enough for me, but this customer has got two. Very jealous. Uh, MPPT, Orion, Smart Shunt, it's all got to squeeze into here somehow. So, I'm going to get started now. I'm not going to film much of the day because I need to crack on, but I will film something at the end of the day to show you how far I've got with today. Uh, whew, lots to do. Oh, and there's a whole load of box here of stuff as well. Boxes, and uh, I've got all the cable in my van. Got mega fuses, MIDI fuses, a whole box of stuff in there, as well as a whole load of reels of cable in my van. Let's go. End of the day. It's 
managed to squeeze one of the 200 amp hour lithium batteries in this recess where the original leisure battery was. Two 200 amp hour lithium batteries wired together in parallel. Got the Orion DC charger, the smart shunt, uh, the Ar uh, MPPT charge controller. This is going to be an isolator for the uh, solar panels. This is the Multiplast 2 3000 watt. Got a couple of bus bars. There's a few MIDI fuses and Mega Fuse, which is going to be for the Multiplus. Mega Fuse is the first port of call for the power. It's for a fuse, for a switch to the bus bar. What do you think? This is all a bit messy around here. This is the original electrics. Try and tidy it up as best I can tomorrow. Well, what do you think? So there's my van. It's in a little quiet picnic area, parking area, right next to a river. And I found out today that there used to be a ferry going back and forward all day long to and from this parking area to that pub just over there. But some lowlife stole the motor, the outboard of the of the boat, and the pub couldn't replace the couldn't afford to replace it. That would have been nice to just get on a little boat and go over to the pub over there. Yeah, just just there. I could swim, but it'd be pretty cold. <laughs> anyway, I went for a I went for a wander today. I parked uh, after work. I got here, and then I walked about 15 minutes to uh, the swimming pool. Uh, uh, where am I? Tewkesbury. And um, Tewkesbury Leisure Centre. I went in there for a swim and then had a shower. And then walked back. Done some work. There's a fire over there. Can you see? There's a. You can't see, but there's a. It looks like a campsite over there. Hmm. Feels quite nice, actually. There will be some. Youths coming down here to smoke some weed later on. They did last night. You can't get away from from that. You got all these little picnic tables. Someone's obviously destroyed this one. Put a fire on it or something. Anyway, new tires. Finally got some new tires. Had them for three years. The other ones. My last good riches I had for three years. Um, they would have done another year, I reckon. Maybe even more than that, but the tracking was out. My van just ate through them tires. It was really, one of them was really bad. Three, two of them. One was really bad, two were quite bad. And the one that wasn't so bad, I put on the spare. Got a spare wheel up the top there. So my spare at least now has a matching size good rich, but Four new tyres. We're just going to keep getting the track in checked every few months, I reckon. So I don't wear through these tyres because they're not cheap. Right, I've had dinner. Just going to get into the van now and chill. Got one more day of work on this job tomorrow. It's looking really good. It's looking really good. Right, see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. All right, thankfully, it is a nice day. Blue skies, sun. And we've had a load of wind this week. So it's not been conducive for fitting the solar panels on high motorhome roofs. But thankfully, it looks good today. So today is fitting the solar panels wiring up all the mains powered stuff because this multi-plus has got to run everything basically all the mains powered stuff that is originally in the motorhome including the three-way fridge including another freezer they're fitting loads of uh, indu induction hobs and i don't know all that kind of stuff so yeah it's uh 
I do all the main stuff, wire a few 12 volt sockets around the van. Yeah, that's what today is. And then tidying up and fixing bits and pieces. <sighs> so let's go and do that. It's looking good there. It's, it's looking smart. So, day three on that job just didn't quite get a plan. It just took so much longer than we thought. It just had a few complications and a few delays. So we ended up working till like seven or eight o'clock at night, I think. I can't really I can't remember now. But yeah, we got to quite a long time. So that was, I didn't really film anything else. So yeah, just the images that you've already seen. And that's how it looks. There was no real changes. Make sure we all, the, all the fuses were in correctly and make sure everything was working. We also fitted two massive solar panels on the roof. So yeah, she should be good to go. So because that was a random end, I'm going to chuck on a couple more clips that I took of another job. I wasn't going to release it because I didn't take much footage of that either. But I'll chuck on some clips now of another job I did. Um, and I'll see you after this. Hello everybody. This is where I have parked this evening. I actually got here last night. I actually got here last night from the International Camper Van Show in Stratford. We came down to near Bath. So I'm near, I'm near Bath right now and I've parked here last night and I'm staying here tonight because tomorrow I start a two day job helping a guy out do some solar panels and a few other random bits I think I'm not quite sure. So yeah, it's beautiful here. It's quiet. Until the evening when all the women, no good boy racers, come down here and leave their horns, play their music, leave McDonald's rubbish and smoke weed. What's the matter with the youths of today? Other than the weed and the McDonald's rubbish, I did a little bit of the boy racer, boy racer thing when I was 17, 18. Use the quality of this video. I'm doing it on my phone, but this is the van I'm working on. I spent all morning. The idea is to fit some, fit some solar panels up here, which are here. There were four flexi solar panels on here, but as you most of you know, they don't last. Maybe a year if you're lucky with the flexible panels. So yeah, we've got some solid panels to fit on here. Two 200 amps, so that's 400 amps of solar. But I spent all morning grinding off all the rust. You turn the camera around. Spent all morning grinding off the rust on these patches. And we've got a couple of uh, seam, seams along here that are leaking. So we need to put some, we've got some tiger, what do you call it? Tiger seal or something. So yeah, we've got this seam here, which is the worst one. You can see the gap there. So we're gonna seam that up in a minute. Seam, sorry, seal that seam, seal that seam. Uh, I've put some etch primer on all the bits that I've ground down that were rusty. And we're gonna put some paint on it at some point. Um, what have we got? Yeah, this is the whole van's going to be raptured anyway, but yeah, we just needed to protect underneath where the panels are going because you're never going to be able to get to them again. But that's what we're up to so far. Is it midday on day one? We've got two days here. The idea is to get the panels fitted and a light bar, which is going to go on the very front edge of the front solar panel. So, I mean, we're in a nice barn, so it's not raining, but it would be convenient if it was raining. So we're working in, indoors today and this is the sprinter that I'm working on.
morning everyone. Uh, so yeah, yesterday was spent, the morning was spent sanding, prepping, priming uh, the roof for the solar panels. And the afternoon was spent customizing the big bulky plastic feet uh, to go around the ribs of the roof. That's all done now for both panels, but we got to fit them today. So I went and bought a load of nuts and bolts yesterday. The customer wants to put nuts and bolts through the roof with washers underneath. So we're going to do that today and also attach a light bar onto the front edge of one, one of the solar panels. So that's what we're going to do today. And then I'm going home because I haven't been home for a while. I was just checking some emails before I uh, went, went off to work. I'm boiling the kettle so I can do the washing up from last night. I had a bit of a tidy up, go to work, go home. Very, it's not a very exciting vlog for you. I'll try and film, but I will film the solar panels once they're on there today. So that's all the footage I had for that job. So it's a bit, bit of a random video for you. I'm sorry about that. I didn't really have time or... Uh, I didn't really have time to do much more film than that, but that whole van is getting a complete Raptor spray very soon. So the panels are just going to come be coming off, but the feet are also going to stay in place. Um, but yeah, that van, that van's going to be good. Um, and also, we were messing around with a light bar, trying to it's fed a light bar to the front the front side of the panel. So anyway, we were messing around with the relays for that as well, part of the second day. So that is the end of this video. Bit of a random one. If you need any work done on your camper vans, myself and my friend Mark, we are now distributors and installers of mainly Victron gear. But yeah, if you need any electrical work done, let me know. Email address is down below in the video description. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.